Hey everyone, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use contact posters on your iPhone running iOS 17. Now, keep in mind that this is just a beta, so it might change, but it will probably be the same once the version fully drops out. So, of course, open up your contacts application, and what you can do here is to create a new one or customize an existing one. But let me create like a new contact. So, you can put here whatever you want. Let's say you put the name to something like Apple, for example, and you can also add a photo, whatever it is, but this photo is something else. It's not like the poster just yet. It's a regular profile picture for your contacts. So you can choose this and it's okay. You're going to tap next. But once you click on a next, it's going to ask you to create your poster and you basically have four options. So this is what it looks like. This is how it's going to appear on your iPhone when they will call you. So you have the decline as well as the accept button, but you also have the name at the top of the page. So the first option is the camera. So you can literally just open up camera and snap a photo of whatever you want. And it's just going to be able to use it somehow. And it's going to like preview. It's going to prepare it for you. So this photo is going to be now the uh, contact poster, but it probably doesn't look that good because it's just a photo that's being snapped like right now. Instead, what you'll probably do is going to the photos app and in the photos app, you have like uh, the option to pick any picture from your gallery, which you're going to use as your profile poster. So that's uh, really useful. And you basically just so wipe through different styles. It looks very similar to customizing the uh, lock screen on uh, iOS 16 or 17. So you can choose between black and white, natural, some duotone or, or, or color wash. You can also pinch in and out. And based on that, the contact name is going to be changed. So that's also really cool. And you can also choose some different things. So if you click on the more options, Nothing really pops up to me, but yeah, you can change this, the styles and everything. But uh, choosing the photo, although it's probably the most likely thing that you're going to do, well, choosing the photo is not the only option available to you. Besides that, you can also choose Memoji. So it's going to get you to this section where you can basically create a new one specific for that person. So you can just like customize their skin, their hair, eyes, everything just to create like a regular person or you can just choose some prepared ones some dolphins or animals or whatever you know the basic memojis that have been available since like the iphone 10. so you can also use that as well but it's not really that personal at least in my opinion of course because you just don't have or don't see the actual person but their cartoon style memoji so that if you want to go ahead and do it but there's also one last option called monogram. And if you go ahead and click on it, you basically can choose some different text that shows up. So you can literally just put in their name or whatever, or like two letters, which are going to like represent the person, I guess. So it is possible, although kind of weird, but you can also just customize the background color. So if you want to, you can use that as well. But I personally don't see myself using it that, that much. But this is how you can customize it for basically uh, any person that you want. Because even though, I mean, a lot of people were actually searching for the term, how you can set a picture on uh, the contact whenever you are receiving that. So that's really cool. So that's how you can do it. But uh, yeah, you know, I was 17. It's much easier. So yeah, that would be pretty much everything. I just wanted to show it to you how it works because iOS 17 is fairly new. So yeah, in case you wanted to know how you'll be able to use it once it fully drops out for the public, then this is how you can do it. I hope that the video helped you out. I would really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up if it did. And also for more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. That would really mean a lot and it would also help you as well. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace.